differentiation of trigonometric functions. So here we're going to look at how we can derive our trig functions that we've uh, been dealing with. So we're going to have a look at y equals sine x, y equals cos x, and y equals tan x. We're going to learn what the derivatives of all of these are. So when we derive sine x, we actually get cos x. When we derive cos x, we get negative sine x. And when we derive tan x, we get sec squared x. But often, we're just not deriving these functions on their own. Usually, inside x, we have a function of x. So let's write more generic formulas we can use. So if we have y equals sine of a function of x, y equals the cos of a function of x, and y equals tan of a function of x, what are the derivatives of these? Well here, our derivative, well the, normally the derivative of sine is cos, so that doesn't actually change, it would just be the cos of that function. Multiply, the only difference is we multiply by the derivative of that function. And that's the same for all of these. Normally when we derive cos, we get negative sine, so that doesn't change, we get negative sine of the function of x. Here we just have to multiply by the derivative of that function. Same with tan. When we normally derive tan, we get sec squared of that function. Now we just have to multiply by the derivative of that function. Let's have a look at some examples. What if we have y of sine x squared plus 1, or dy dx, well derivative of sine is cos, so we get cos of that function, now we just need to multiply by the derivative of that function, and derivative of x squared plus 1 is just going to be 2x, so you just write this a little prettier, 2x times cos of x squared plus 1. What about the cos of ln x? Sorry, y equals cos of ln x. dy dx. Well, normally when we derive cos, we get negative sine, so no different here. We get negative sine of our function, ln x. This time we just have to multiply by the derivative of that function and the derivative of ln x is 1 on x. You can tidy this up. It'll just be minus sine ln x over x. What about y equals the tan of e to the x? Well, the derivative it's just going to be derivative of tan is sec squared, so we get sec squared of our function. Multiplied by the derivative of our function, derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And we can tidy this up just by writing it as e to the x sec squared of e to the x. Mm -hmm.